the population, but first dumb us down and have us ask for our extermination. I mean, I've read stuff from the 20s and 30s about how they had to get children out of people's arms into baskets and into crates and into uh, you know, cradles and cribs to break the human connection to them because they found when they removed baby rats from their mothers, they were addled, stupid, fearful, and pathetic. I mean, the children don't get mother's milk. Their brains are a third smaller on average when given formula. I mean, there's a reason the public's dumb and cowardly and weak. I was hanging on my parents' neck like a monkey. I slept with them. I sat there and watched everything they did. I have memories when I was like a year and a half old of realizing I had a symbiotic relationship with my parents and, and fearing something would happen to them because they were my, my biological robot that did things for me. Kids supposed to be hanging like a monkey off their parents' neck, watching everything, developing into a seriously smart, aggressive creature. Instead, you look at all these people, they're little kids. The SWAT teams, all of them, are trying to be men, trying to find their mother, trying to find their father, trying to find their tribe. That They have biologically, and now all the science is coming out in major universities. I saw one out of uh, Princeton just the other day, another out of uh, Calgary, up in Canada. And the top professors are going, epigenetics, it's incredible. We need to be held and we need to be taught. We need to go through things when we're a kid so that it triggers our epigenetics and boosts the IQ. And they're going, I can't believe that everything we do is to lower IQ and to lower human development and accessing our real programming. What you just think you just discovered that this year, scientist? The new adulthood is at 25. It's about to be 30. These people... If a baby isn't held by their parents, if a baby isn't given the fat in the mother's milk, the baby releases hormones and chemicals and then activates genes. This is on record. To where they live in fear and are totally cowardly and have no idea what planet they're on and then have to be given antidepressants because they're so freaked out. Oh, when your 11-year-old daughter has anxiety because she's got zits for the first time and goes into puberty, it isn't go through the crisis, deal with it, learn how to deal with it. No, it's drug your daughter with serotonin reuptake inhibitors and, and, and stuff like that. Psychotropics. When your son gets beat up for the first time or beats somebody up because they start a fight, the answer is drug them instead of giving them a medal. You're not allowed to go through any of the rites of passage. And I biologically realized this myself a long time ago. Because it's the rites of passage that then activate another chapter in who you are. And I don't believe in reincarnation, but it is 100% fact that you are the generations that came before you, but you must have ritual, that's what ritual is, to activate the genes. And it's now been proven. And I'm going to get a string of scientists on top psychologist, top psychiatrist, uh, top geneticist, top neurologist. I mean, there, there is a growing body of evidence. And of course, the elite knows this, and everything they do is to block your ascension, is to block your honorable development into manhood, into womanhood. You're supposed to be a man by the time you're 12 or 13, ladies and gentlemen. At least a man physically, a man in your desires, a man in your will. Not when you're 27, the new average age for launch for an American male. And then the globalists bring the fake thug life, thug gangster system as that's supposed to be male to young men. And I've already digressed. My point is, when you see MSNBC or CNN, this is hardcore, weaponized, anti-human destructive systems to turn off your life force, to turn off your genetics, and to make you be an adult, weak, nanny state creature. So that you can be absorbed into the singularity, and so you won't struggle. They don't want alive, conscious humans to try to struggle for control of their own destiny. They want to program your destiny and force you into a false collective. You're already part of a collective, all of your ancestors. And you live in the collective structures and literature and art and music and religion that they built. Do you understand that, ladies and gentlemen? And these people want to rob you of that. So when we come back, we're going to break down how to defeat them. We're going to break down their desperately hitting the panic button. 
saying, GOP, do not listen to Alex Jones. They're trying to set the parameter, say, do not listen to this man. Because if you listen to me, we will overthrow these people. We will be right back. Stay with us. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. LeSig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven day satisfaction guarantee and same day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LeSig.com spelled L-E-C-I-G dot com. LeSig e-cigarettes kick some ash. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed. To do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. It's coming up in the next segment. Thanks for joining us. Alex Jones here live on this Tuesday, 22nd day of April, 2014 edition. But before I go any further, uh, the story is up on Infowars.com. MSNBC smears Monday supporters as insurgents. And what happens to American citizens that are insurgents? NDAA. You can be disappeared, according to Obama, if you really think he's a dictator. 
And uh, Steve Watson wrote an article last night uh, where the uh, anti-Bundy people, the Democrats, are calling all over the place for the military to be used and to kill any land rights activists. Well, I've told you for 17 years of 19 years on air, because I didn't start going to urban warfare drills, so I've been on air about two, three years, that every time I went, they weren't trained to fight radical Muslims or the Russian military or the Chinese military. They were training to fight people wearing John Deere caps and screaming, I'm an American, please don't put me in the camp. I have a right to a Second Amendment. And I also have video of the urban warfare drills that we had to clandestinely shoot because the Marines threw me out both times. I got press passes and got in. They would have uh, one case Colonel Love ordered uh, their PR guy's name was Jones to just freak out. I mean, he was violently angry. And some of that's on video when they caught me getting the video of the executions of gun owners. Oh, it's all on video in Police Day 2000. And people saw this. This was under Clinton in 99. They were so freaked out by it that they thought the video must be fake. Hovercraft landing in San Francisco and Oakland, 3,000 troops, foreign troops as well. No, it's all real. The, water, the warrior fighting vehicles, all of it. It's all real. You want to know what radicalized me? Reality. Reality and the research of reality and the facing of reality radicalized Alex Jones. We should tweet that. Reality is what radicalized me, Alex Jones. Reality and facing it is what radicalized me because when you're faced with hardcore anti-human social engineers who get off on using social engineering to disempower us, the globalists hated Americans. So we've gone from the highest test scores, the highest IQs, the most patents, the most trailblazing, the toughest fighters. It was true. People all over the world. Historians from France and Russia and Japan came here and lived here and wrote countless books saying these people are incredible. We're not too incredible now, are we? The most obese, the most cancer, the most autistic, the most diseases, the most diabetes, the most cancer, the most breast cancer, the most bone cancer. And why? Because we've been under chemical warfare by these eugenics bastards. And you know who makes little jokes about it? The White House pimps over at MSNBC. Do you people really think you're going to be part of the chosen elite when this New World Order singularity comes in? I don't know if the singularity is going to be real. I don't know if it's feasible. All I know is the elite believe it like a stinking religion. And let me tell you, I've seen what comes out of the other end of your religion. And it stinks. And it's poison. And it's bad. So you want to make me a Republican? You want to freak out and say, oh my gosh, the Jonesification of the GOP? That's not what's happening. You've had the Jonesification of America and the world because it's not a Jonesification. It's a survival instinct that's in everyone, and I speak to it as an emergency beacon, nothing more. And here's the good news. I've already sent my transmission hundreds of thousands of times. And the transmission will only get stronger as you press down on the people. When you attack Rand Paul for being associated with me, his ratings go up. When you attack Drudge for being associated with me, his ratings go up. When you attack the senator uh, from Nevada, the one that's speaking out against Harry Reid we're going to talk about, his ratings go up. People have a hunger for justice, a hunger for liberty, a hunger to thrive, a hunger to innovate, a hunger for the future. You people claim you're the egalitarians trying to build up humanity, but in all your internal writings that you think we're too stupid to read and that you think we're too dumb to track, you talk about your hate and disdain for not just us, but yourselves, because you got left in the crib. You sat in crap-filled diapers. Your parents were mean, inbred, psychopaths and sociopaths and sadists and abused you. And because they did that to you, you want to do that to us. Well, here's the thing. My parents loved me and their parents loved them. And just because we've been naive, we're a lot stronger than you. We're a lot more powerful than you. We're more vicious than you. And you're going to find out about the real humanity. And you know in your gut you're going to fail. You know in your gut you're going down. And I've already achieved victory.
And anyone that steps into being a real human and a real man and honor and a real woman has already had the victory. We're on the march.